Joining us on TVC News at 10, we'll begin from the nation's capital where the Court of Appeal has upheld the ruling of the Election Petitions Tribunal sacking Governor Abba Yusuf of Kano State. In its judgment on Friday, the Court of Appeal agreed with the judgment of the tribunal, ruling that the fielding of Abba Yusuf was in breach of the electoral law as he was not qualified to contest that election. Abuja Division has upheld the judgment of the tribunal which sat Governor Abba Kabir Yusuf of Kano State. A three-member panel of justices led by Justice Uluyemi Akito Satebe had sacked Abba Yusuf on the 20th of September by declaring 165,663 of his votes invalid because they were not signed or stamped by the Independent National Electoral Commission. The governor's votes were then reduced to 853,939, while those of his All Progressives Congress rival Nasser Gaun remained at 890,705. In a swift reaction, the All Progressives Congress says the people of Kano State are satisfied with the court verdict. The party has assured that it will not betray the trust reposed in it by the people. And according to the Constitution, we have to belong to our political party. We have to be sponsored by our political party before we could contest an election. So the Court of Appeal has ruled that he was not a member. Therefore, he, the issue of even counting vote money did not even arise because he was not supposed to be a rightful candidate. And also the votes that they have rigged uh, were fished out during the tribunal. And then they were declared null and void. So the Court of Appeal has also upheld that particular decision of the lower court. So For more perspectives on the court's decision, I'm being joined on the news at 10 by a legal practitioner, Ola Inka Ola Daniel. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 10. As it is, the fate of Governor Abba Yusuf hangs in the balance. What do you make of the verdict of the Court of Appeal? First, thank you for having me. Uh, good evening, viewers. Well, the uh, verdict is clear. We can all see it. Um, at least that is a well-researched uh, judgment of the Court of Appeal. Um, because the truth is, once the three elements provided by the law is not there, there is nothing the court can do. Because the law, the court will deal with the law. In fact, you say, uh, um, if I mean laws, evidence, and if you cannot prove whatever you have before the court, for instance, if the elements of the signing of the form, the uh, I mean, I mean, the seal and all that is not there, then I, I don't know how that error was made. I don't know what the agents were doing. I don't know who was there and they could not. Uh, I, I mean, they couldn't make sure all that were done even before the uh, the ballot papers were counted and submitted. It's unfortunate, but there is nothing the court can do. The court is not a Father Christmas, and it has to do its job, and that was what has happened at the, you know, at the court. Absolutely, fact, and, and Mr. Lord Daniels, as it is, it does even appear that the main issue in contention is the, that the fielding of Governor Abba Yusuf as a candidate of the NNPP was actually a breach of the electoral law, as uh, the court said it was not qualified to contest the election. But then, as a lawyer, uh, are you bothered? I mean, does it bother you that uh, in some quarters, elections are being won in the law courts rather than through the ballots? Yeah, well, don't forget that the court is the, uh, I mean, is the hope of the common man. And um, if you don't make such provisions uh, for, I mean, uh, under the Electoral Act, if you don't make such provision that whatever grievances, whatever issues we have, whatever disparity, if you are not satisfied, go to court. You can imagine what that may lead to. You can imagine, and we, we can't afford anarchy. We can't afford, uh, I mean, chaos. Uh, I mean, because that is what we happen if there is no place for them to seek redress. If there is no place, they can say, okay, the, I'm not satisfied with what has happened. Let's go to appropriate quarters. And that is the reason why the law made provisions for the court to adjudicate. So the, 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 this is, shouldn't be seen as court deciding, uh, I mean, the leaders of the people. Yeah, they have done their part, but you have to do it well. There are rules, there are procedures, there are regulations that we need to follow. You cannot, in sportsmanship, you must do it right. You Absolutely. cannot score a goal with a hand. 
-hmm. You have to score a goal with your leg. If you score a goal with your hand, it is foul. It is not a goal. So the same thing applies in court. So you cannot say the court is giving the people their governor or, I mean, or picking their leaders for them. No. All right. The court is doing his job and he has to make them understand that, no, this is not done right, appropriately, under the law. Mm. And as that it stands now, okay, if uh, Governor Yusuf heads to the Supreme Court and uh, the judgment does not go in his favor, it, it might just mean that uh, Kano State would also join that trend of off-cycle elections, isn't it? Well, it may join, but don't forget also, like, if you look at what happened this recent elections, uh, the three states, the Bielsa, the... Uh, um, um, uh, the emo and I mean the three states that uh, that elections were conducted. Don't forget that there were three uh, they, they, they were three different times. But the INE came together and made sure that the election was held the same day. Yes, they may join, but we are still going to get to a, po a point where all elections are still going to be held on the same day. How that will happen, I don't know. Maybe legislation will have to be amended. Maybe we have to mm -hmm. then go to the, uh, I mean, to the law to see how we can review that to amend such position. But we'll wait to see the, how yeah. it would actually happen because it's one of the calls really that former President Goodluck Jonathan made during the conduct of the last. Uh, round of off-cycle elections. Thank you very much for talking to us. Olayinka Ola Daniels, a lawyer from Lagos.